Right, this is a video explaining how my um, bino, thermo, thermal and night vision combination works. So this is a Pulsar XM30F. It's not designed for head mounting, but I figured that uh, it could work with a little bit of work. So uh, anyway, this is normal orientation buttons up. You basically look through that and, and you get a TV screen image. But the tripod hole, which is on this side, is pretty much the only way to mount any sort of bracket or anything to it. So what I've done is uh, I've put it into this orientation and uh, and then you get like the, the, the sort of portrait, um, you know, view. The downside, the icons are on either side and not up and down because you can't change the icon orientation obviously you know it's not designed for that so anyway this is uh, how it all goes together the tripod hole here there's a bolt here that fits into your tripod hole this is an l-shaped bracket bought from uh, aldi supermarket basically you get like a, a bag of them for about four four or five quid so that one's an l-shaped one and then that one's a long one all i've done in the back of that is I've cut a slot into it so sh should I feel the need I can move this up and down uh, you know this and, and change the uh, sort of you know backwards and forwards movement rather than sort of changing it with the uh, with the bino mount and the helmet mount um, so anyway so this is uh, a set of uh, from from a set of two um, sort of PVS 14 dovetail mounts it's designed actually to fit into one of these which is a bino mount so you basically have two PVS 14s and then the other side of this you know sort of slots over the sort of PVS 14 and then the tripod hole you know where you know, you've got a screw that goes in so basically it's for mounting two PVS 14s side by side so all I've done is I've cut the other side off and I've just filed it off and cleaned it up or whatever else and then I've connected it to that and it's collect, can, the bolts connected to where the slot is or the slit rather in this plate and I've sprayed it on the right black now the way it's connected up is um, you know, I've got a cu couple of little rubber sort of uh, you know pads under here just to keep uh, the bracket away from the body stop it scratching the body um, this side I've used the hole here and I've put a cable tie through it and it's it's all very secure you know there's no way it's coming away uh, I've put a redundancy strap with a little clip around here you know as is normal so sort of with uh, you know, night vision so that if the mount fails it's not going to fall on the floor so then my night vision which is the dipole D128 now I've got a mini rail on either side but I had to rig up something different because the mini rail and the mount was too tall so basically what I've got is I've got one of these J-arms which uh, I bought from China I think I paid about 20, 24 pound with about 4 pound delivery but I think they've gone up to like 29 pound now anyway so I thought the dovetail on this would be the perfect fit for my mod so basically what I've done is I've taken the dovetail off that and I've used the original bolt that fits into that hole and it actually is uh, a perfect fit for the uh, thread that's like uh, the nut on the inside of the D128 you know there's two nuts on the inside and your normal sort of bolts thread into them and that bolt actually threads perfectly into it but I was worried about using just the one bolt because obviously you know you've got sort of downward force and what whatnot um you know uh, i was worried about the one bolt snapping so what i've done is i've got this plate which is funny enough another aldi plate and uh, it's just a two hole and it perfectly sort of aligns with those two bolts um and what i've done is i've gorilla glued this uh, dovetail to the plate and uh, and then you know I've sort of just what, what I've done is I've put it in a vise and I've sort of just bent it very slightly so it's got like a bit of a curve on the body so it perfectly aligns with the D128 housing 
uh, what I may do in the future is see if somebody can spot weld me this dovetail um, which is separate from the plate to the plate itself you know maybe on like three four sides and that will be more secure uh, also the original pen that would fit into that hole there or rather I think it's that hole I'd also put a, a hole through the plate so that the dovetail doesn't sort of go like that uh, and that pin is all secure with that so I'm hoping I haven't tried it yet you know well I haven't tried it outside yet uh, properly I've tried it around the garden I'm hoping it's all going to be sort of secure and uh, it's not sort of going to snap the bolt well, if it does shit happens I'll have to fix it or what not you know I might just order another dovetail from you know another JM from bloody China for 29 quid you know rather than sort of try and source another dovetail like this and then get somebody to weld it to uh, the plate um, you know if that survives after the accident but at least I'm not going to lose it because I've got a lan la lanyard clip here so basically what happens then is uh, the night vision's going over my left eye and uh, sorry my right eye and the thermal's going over my left so basically this is the mount here and that mounts into my TT, what is it, a TATN mount or something. So basically that is the mount on the helmet. Oh, I can't use the flash, but anyway. So that's the mount on the helmet. That's my uh, crappy airsoft helmet that I've created there. Uh, basically it's just like a, a, it was a black bump helmet and I've sprayed it green and I've put like a cover over it and it's got a counterweight on the back um, it's actually got it's actually got a bicycle um, mount it was originally a bicycle mount for a was it a mobile phone holder but what I've done is I've rigged up uh, that's an 850nm flashlight uh, you know I bought from China for like 14 quid so basically that clips into that like that so basically that clips into that like that and I can move it around and whatnot. so if I need a little bit of extra light uh, you know like dark woods or whatever else then I can turn on the uh, turn on the IR and uh, it gives me that little bit of extra light even though there is a bit of a red glow but you know animals aren't bothered by that and you know, it's only people that's going to see it really but uh, yeah so that's the that's the night vision so basically what I do then is the mount will clip into that. Oops. <laughs> That's clever. Right. Yeah, the mount clips into that. And then the redundancy cable from this, I loop around the back and it, it fits over the, the, the bolt at the top of the thing. So that's all secure now in the mount. I'll just... Uh, Move that very slightly. And just move that there. So then the D128 fits into there. And my redundancy clip and clips onto that. And then my thermal then clips on the other side. That clips in nicely there. And then the other clip connects onto it. Oh, got it. The other clip ah, should dent. This is not easy to do with one hand. Ah, can't get it. Right, anyway, so. Right, put that down. God, Jesus. Right. So, there we go. So that's all together now. Night vision over the left eye, thermal over the right eye. And I can sort of bring it in and out with, uh, with that if I need to, but I don't need to, and it's perfectly aligned. Now, now that I've put the, that dovetail on the night vision, it's perfectly aligned. Downside is the weight, it weighs over a kilogram, so I've had to offset the counterweight on the back of the helmet uh, using about 500 uh, grams, but you know, I mean, 
pretty much wearing this for like about a year anyway for the night vision I've got like neck neck muscles like Arnold Schwarzenegger anyway so uh, not a lot of difference there but anyway should I need the should I feel the need uh, not for speed but for feel the need I can swing out the night vision and look with my right eye or I can swing out the left one uh, so that's all sorted all perfect all works fine and uh, yeah, I think you know, value-wise, what did I? So if we weren't in the dovetail, which is twenty-nine pound, uh, the brackets were like four quid, and that that was a pair. That was one of a pair of dovetails for the PVS fourteen bino system, which would be. I think I'm, I think I paid twenty pound from or twenty-one pound or something from eBay delivered. From China, and then the bino mount is a Sotac, was it SM-2, and I paid seventy-six pounds from eBay at second hand because there's one screw missing on one of the dovetails, but it all works perfect. Um, bungee cord, I think I paid about five pounds for about five meters, and then these little clips, uh, the little carabine clips, they're about five pounds for ten. Like I said, the light I paid uh, fourteen pound for. The cover for the helmet uh, was oh, what did I pay fourteen pounds? Counterweight thing was about fourteen pounds. Fishing weights another five pound. The strap is not the original one from the bump helmet. I bought another fast helmet for what was it? An airsoft fast helmet. Oh, what did I? I think I bought that for about £29. All, all I've done is swap the straps over to the bump helmet because it's got like these ear things. I've put like old, old um, headphone uh, foam sort of things on the ears. So yeah, it's a bit sort of rough and ready. Uh, but uh, you know, doing it on a budget pretty much. So uh, yeah, so we'll have to see what it looks like when, um, when I go out in the woods. But I should think it looks pretty good because I tried it in the garden. And the thermal overlay, which is obviously, you know, vertical portrait, fits really nicely over the MV, and my brain actually merges it really well. You know, there's no sort of um, issues with my brain merging it. You know, so um, yeah, we'll just have to see how robust it is and whether the uh, the dovetail sort of snaps or whatever else. I mean, shit happens if it does. I'll just sort of uh, get somebody to weld me one up. You know. Hopefully it'll be alright. So yeah, that's my uh, thermal and night vision system.